Hello, my lovely Leos, and a very warm welcome to your April 2022 horoscope forecast. It's a wonderful month, especially between the 5th and the 12th, as Neptune and Jupiter come together in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is all about dreams. And Jupiter is magnifying those dreams. So what are your biggest dreams? Your dreams for you, your dreams for your family, your loved ones, and also for our planet and for our human species. The month starts out on the first with a lovely new moon happening here in your ninth house. New beginnings, new possibilities. And the ninth house has to do with travel. So some of you might be traveling or planning a trip. It also has to do with your spiritual journey. So a new beginning, maybe a new direction or some progress along that spiritual search for more meaning in your life. It's a great time for publishing something, getting your book out, your blog, an article, a film, starting your YouTube channel, whatever it is, this is new beginnings. You might be teaching something or learning something that you really enjoy. It's also very good for anything international, connecting with people far and wide on this planet and maybe on other planets. Now on the sixth of the month, we've got Venus, oopsie daisy, coming into this house joining Jupiter and Neptune, as I mentioned, and it's in your eighth house. Now, Venus is planet of, shall we say, the lower expression of love, earthly love, like would rule money and material things and romantic love. And Neptune, the higher expression of love, spiritual love, the love for all things and all beings and great compassion. And Jupiter, amplifies and magnifies the two. So since this is the eighth house of intimacy, this could be an exploration of taking a relationship to a more intimate level. You may be uh, getting into some kind of very big business deal. The eighth house has to do with uh, business, to do with other people's resources, or to do with partnerships, or something that's quite a big situation here. It's also really good for diving deeply into your spiritual world, your emotional world, your psychological world. And you may find that you're really drawn even more, because I think already many of you are, into this esoteric metaphysical world to try to understand your world beyond just the material things. But it's very deep. And it's very profound, and it can also bring you a great deal of wealth. Now, on the 11th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this 10th house, conjuncting, getting close to Uranus, which is wonderful for new ideas, light bulb moments, and a very good time for making an announcement, uh, making an announcement to the world about something that is important to you. Now, on the 16th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your third house. And full moons shine a light on things. They, they bring things to light or something coming to fruition. So you may be learning something. You may be completing some studies or starting some studies or continuing some studying. It's shining a light on your neighborhood, the people around you. Are you connecting with the people around you? Doesn't mean to say you've got to have them over for dinner. But can you reach out in some way to people that you meet every day? Who can you reach out to? This is great for communications, for connecting with others. It's also very good for marketing, for promoting, for sharing information about a product or a service that you feel very passionate about. Also on the 16th of the month, Mars coming to join the party in that eighth house, really digging deep. It's good for researching, getting to the bottom of a situation, 
really finding possibly some very valuable information um, that could be of service to you, but also maybe to a lot of people. On the 20th of the month, the sun comes into your 10th house and just shining a light and saying, okay, now, Leos, it's time to be seen. It's time to be come out. Some of you enjoy that. Some of you don't so much. Yeah, you're not so much the typical Leos. But it's just encouraging you to shine your light, to shine your joy, to express the good things to the best of your ability and to share it with others, to infect others with that energy. On the 30th, Mercury comes into your 11th house. And this is really wonderful for meeting groups of people. It's good for your social networks, online and offline. Uh, and it's good for teaching. Once again, teaching and learning seems to be an important feature of this month for you. Um, Saturn, still in this seventh house, um, is really showing you uh, how to stay in a relationship and to keep healthy boundaries and at the same time sustain a relationship for a long time. So these may be some of the lessons that you're learning. Some of you may have had endings in relationships, but just remember that one door closes and another door opens. And very often what's behind the new door is better than what you had. So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.